Hey, welcome back. High school athletes and coaches got some great news from the UIL today. Starting June the 8th, teams can begin strength and conditioning as well as sports-specific training. This is for all UIL sports. Now, we should mention right off the bat, this is completely voluntary. In other words, kids are not required to participate. But for those that do want to get back to work on campus, they've got to follow several new guidelines from the UIL. Among them, schools must have hand sanitizer or hand washing stations in workout areas. Teams have to limit their outdoor workouts to groups of 15 or less. For indoor workouts, groups of 10 or less. And for all sports, no offense versus defense drills. That's to limit contact between athletes. I spoke with Mission Veterans football coach David Gilpin earlier today, who says he was thrilled to see this happen. In his opinion, summer workouts are crucial. We'll be able to do the things that we would, or most of the things it looks like, that we would normally be able to do during the athletic period. Which again, if you're out there perfecting your football craft for two months, as opposed to somebody who doesn't go to football and try to perfect their craft, excuse me, for two months, you're going to be behind. Does it mean that, you know, you're not going to start? Of course not. I told you already, there's no repercussions. But for the kids that come to summer conditioning, and, and as of last year when they added sports specific, the kids that come, Joel, are ahead when we open fall camp. It's as simple as that. 